Hi guys! Today I have for you a haul that is all stuff I picked up at Walgreens. Um, you know, most Walgreens have like a drive through where you can just stay in your car and pick up your prescriptions, but I almost never do that because I always want to check out the nail polish. So I'm going to start off with a couple of colors from Essie. And this blue glitter is called Stroke of Brilliance. And you can see it's a pretty chunky glitter in a clear base. And then I also picked up Boxer Shorts, which is this lavender cream. And actually they'd probably go pretty well together, so we'll see when I actually get around to wearing them if I turn them into a combination. Um, I picked up this Sally Hansen called Black Tie. It's like a very, very dark purple, kind of an aubergine, but it also has just a little bit of a duochrome to it, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And another very dark color I picked up is this Sinful called Rich in the Heart, and it's like a very dark maroon. I'm not even sure how that'll come across on camera, but hopefully you guys are able to see that. These next colors I picked up with the intention of doing um, like a water marble in the colors of the Olympic rings and unfortunately I've already done some testing and that idea is out. They did not work out. Um, they for the most part spread in the water but they just weren't working very well together so I'm going to have to find something else to do with them. Um, first is just basic black, which is black on black. Then I picked up a green. This is called Exotic Green. And a red. This is Go-Go Girl. For the blue, I chose Why Not. And I already have um, a yellow from Sinful Colors that I thought might work. So I didn't have to buy a yellow, but I did pick up, um, this was going to be kind of the background, Snow Me White, which is just basic white. So the other thing that I got while I was there are these, sorry about that background noise, my window is open. Uh, these Moon Candy colors from Revlon, and basically it's a duo with um, two different colors of polish, one on each end, and number one is the base color, and then number two is the flaky. So this is called Satellite. You can see the base color is like a dark red, and then the flaky is like a pink. Then this is called Supernova which is a gray base with a lighter pink flaky and I hope I'm doing okay. Those of you that don't know, I do not have one of those fancy cameras that lets me see what I'm doing so I kinda just have to line it up and hope for the best. This third one is called Universe and that's got a brown base and then the flaky is kinda like a shimmery yellow this is called Cosmic. This has kind of like an olive green base color and then more of a lemony yellow flaky. And just to compare those two so you can see, um, the one's almost more of a golden yellow and the other one's kind of more of a lemony yellow. Here is Moon Dust, which has a black base color and then just like a clear shimmery flaky. This is Milky Way, which is a gray base, and then a silver flaky. Here is a Galactic, which is a dark blue base with a turquoise flaky. And the names basically go with both colors. They're not named individually. They're just labeled as one and two. So the name is like the name for the combination of them. And then this is the one that I was wearing in my last haul video. This is called Orbit. And it has a dark purple base. 
and then like a lavender flaky. And just to talk a little while about the application of these, these are not my favorite kind of flakies. They're not like um, Essie Shine of the Times, for example, that really gives a very smooth finish. You have to be careful when you're applying them. Um, sometimes they can have like little edges or corners that are poking up and leave you with more of a rough finish. So sometimes before I'd apply top coat, I'd even, you know, make sure they're as flat as possible, push them down if there are any sticking up, or even use two layers of top coat. And the, the flaky part is also kind of thick and I mean it doesn't apply the nicest but the look is really pretty in fact I'll, um, I'll insert here a picture of this one on my nails and you can kind of see well it's kind of chunky in there already but you can see that I used a pretty good portion of the flaky in order to get the density that I wanted on my nails. So if you only want a little bit of flakies, of course you can do that. If you want even more, you can do that. But just from my experience with them, I'd say you're gonna use up the flaky end way before you use up the base color end. So that's it for this haul. Um, if you've been noticing my nails here, um, this is a Actually, I think it's a Bundle Monster design, um, which I don't think I have handy. I was going to pull it out so I could show you guys, but it's um, a pink Zoya polish and then China Glaze Fairy Dust and then stamped with the Bundle Monster. So um, if you have questions on that, you can check out my stamping playlist. And um, also, just wanted to mention to stay tuned, I'll have another haul in the next few days because... This came in the mail. I don't know if you can even hear me behind that, but this is my gigantic box full of Orly Flash Glams. So I'm very excited that my contest prize has arrived. And yes, that does mean that I will be having my giveaway on my Facebook page um, pretty soon. Still deciding what app I'm going to use for that, but like I mentioned before, head over to Facebook and like my page if you haven't already so that you can get the updates on that. And if you're not on Facebook, I'm sorry, but I really wanted to target this to my Facebook fans since they're the reason that I won these in the first place. So thank you to everybody that helped me win and stay tuned for the haul of all these wonderful contest polishes. So as always, thanks for watching.